Link 2012. Okay. But where are other weapons? I keep mixing up the chests because of these. So let's go ahead and put that right there. And where did those boots go? They just disappeared. I think they went through the roof. Bummer. Oh, nope, I got them. Perfect. Oops. Yeah, now it's in the right, right order. Uh, okay, we're taking both these bows. I really don't need li extra light. So we're going to put that away. Uh, we're going to need a ton of food, actually. Come to think of it. Unless we take a bunch of extended cheese and potions that we don't have. So let's just take two stacks of potatoes. For now. Uh, we, do, we are going to want some panic potions. Even though we're okay right now. Okay, I'm going to keep these instant healths and these panic potions, just in case. I want another bucket of water. Reason being... Although, can we break ice and make water out of it? So we have some ice here. I'm willing to bet we can. Yeah, okay, so that's going to make our inf that's going to help us make our infinite water source over here. And for blocks, oh, those are monster eggs. Just take some quartz. Okay. We got our food. We got our panic potions. We need our boots and our beastly potions. I... We only have two beastly potions left. I'm going to take both of them because this battle has been just really, really long. It's not going to end unless we have these. I don't know how to get rid of the... I can't remember how to get rid of the uh, wither, though. Maybe you could use a uh, hope. But I don't want to try that because I don't want to waste the regen at all. Alright, let's go get some sword skulls. I'm surprised we only have four left, but we're going to take two with us. And boots. Boots, man. We need boots. Let's see if we have some unbreakable boots. I know that we have... Oh, wow, it's beautiful. Oh, it's Maybe, we, did we ever get Unbreakable Ivory? Because I vaguely remember getting Unbreakable Ivory. And that would be really nice to have a pair of Unbreakable Ivory boots. Because those boots increase your speed. Yeah, we have late Unbreakable Ivory leggings. Well, oh, would you look at that? Alright, so we're not at full armor, obviously, but this is much better. We have fire protection, we have blast protection. We really only need more protection. Let's go ahead and put protection on this. Although fire protection wouldn't be a bad idea, either. Protection four. I don't think we need anything other than protection right now. These are all unbreakable, which is nice. Yeah, this isn't going to break anytime soon. We need these pee bottles to put this on. Yeah, I'm sorry that I spend so much time prepping for these things. This battle was a lot harder than I thought. I thought it was going to be way, way easier. You remember the tournament trainer? That was a piece of cake. No problem whatsoever. This, on the other hand, has been giving us so much trouble. I just can't believe it. 
Right, we need the arrows. <laughs> We've been awful if we forgot those. Okay. Okay, yeah, we need... How much do we need? Let's just fill our inventory up pretty much to the brim. This is a ton of arrows. If this much doesn't kill the boss, we're not killing the boss. Because we have... We're going to last forever with this gear. Actually, we're going to last for two hours, thanks to the beastly potions. If not more. I'm going to try to see if I can set up some water buckets and whatnot. To where we can... Oops, I'm wrong way. Get regen. Because the regen plus the resistance might be enough to keep us alive. Oh, we also have um, the shield. Oops. I thought I switched to game mode 3, but I guess not. Actually, no, if this much doesn't kill the boss, we're just gonna slash kill him, because this is not possible if we can't kill him with this much stuff. Now this bow, it does have punch, so we'll be fine with keeping him at bay. We might want to increase the render distance to about 9. And the reason for that is it'll make him lag a bit more, but most importantly, I don't want him going off screen and regenerating. In case that happens, you know. Right. Halfway up now. No, we're not. <laughs> we're half, maybe halfway up the total volcano, but we need to get this way. We don't have resistance to... Oh, well, we will if we go in water. We'll have jump boost, which is quite nice. And we will be able to escape if anything goes south right away. Which I doubt. Right. Hello, error. She's way over there. She's way over there. We're going to create a little region of water right here for us to attack her from. Perfect. There's an infinite pool. This is good for us. Ah! Alright. And this will give us infinite regen. Yeah, this might be enough. We might just have to sit here and just keep shooting her all day. And of course, hit these guys when they come over. They're not coming up with a problem. There's a weird glitch that sometimes happens where if you leave, if you die, for instance, on this boss fight, the pillars will stay up. I, and the reason for that is, uh, okay, we have the regen at least, so we're staying alive. Okay, uh, is that there's a redstone contraption that turns them on and off, and that gets reset for some reason. I'm guessing that these chunks just get reset somehow. No, that's not the case because the bottom ones are fine. Yeah, I couldn't figure out the reason the boss reset her health either, which was strange. Now let's get forward in this water here. Well, Magma Queen's gonna keep shooting us backwards. Right. Oh, hello! Nope, I don't want to mess with you at all. Stay over on that end, because if she comes over on this end, then we won't be able... Then she'll be up against the corner to our left, which we do not want whatsoever. If she gets in the range of the skull right there, she might... Oh, great, she went back up. Yep, there she is now. <laughs> Hello! Welcome! Back. Yeah, we probably didn't need two stacks of potatoes. I'm guessing one stack would have been just fine. At this rate, we're doing okay. We just need to eat one, two potatoes so far. That's how long we should count the boss fight in. Number of potatoes eat. It looks like some of the lava pillars are bugged out too, like they're not going. Oh wait, no, I think I made it, I'm pretty sure I made it random. So 
so it was a different lava pool each time. And it, the timing, I think, is slightly random as well. Yeah, good. Our armor's unbreakable so far. I love how all the, the squids spawn in unison, too. And that's just a game thing. I do need to worry about arrow usage on those magma things, because remember that we do have a limited arrow at use. Even though this boat is unbreakable. Although it seems as though we're doing just fine. And I'm gonna say I started this fight at 5... 10. So far. And it's 5... 20. That's really strange that that pillar is not going down. Oh, look at that. Some... some, uh... Oh, boy. Get out of here. No! No! I don't remember what that move does, but I don't think it's something good at all. I'm pretty sure it removes your effects. Oh yeah, that and that and that stained glass just got deleted. Actually, I've only been in this fight for five minutes, but that glass didn't get deleted. So we started this fight at 515. Slowly, slowly doing damage. Bows do not do a lot of damage. Although we do need to pick up the pace, and the reason for that is uh, we wasted two arrows on each of these little guys right here. And that's really bad for us. We don't want to waste a single arrow. All of them should be hitting the Magma Queen. Even though we really have an excess of arrows right now. And if they don't kill her, I don't know what will. I mean, we get some, some super weapons later in the map. But they're like absurdly ex they're absurdly expensive and hard to come by. But I'll show you guys where they're at. They're pretty well hidden. There's some really well hidden stuff in the last two areas. I think it's the last area where we get most of the stuff I'm thinking of. No, no, say the last the last area. No, it is the last area. Because I'm thinking of uh, the what is it? It's weird. It's, it's linked to the, uh, what is it called? Limbo. It's the area with limbo in it, and that's the last area. Nostalgia. I can't wait till we get the regen helmet later on, like, this regen whenever we kill an enemy. It's gonna be a big benefit. It looks like we have a little bit of knockback resistance thanks to these, uh, the ivory boots. So that's one benefit of them, for sure. Well, that and probably something else. Yeah, we have 36% knockback resistance on the helmet, too. And that's very helpful, because whenever we get thorn, we get knocked back. I don't like that. We technically don't need a ton of hunger, because we are in a pool of regeneration right now, and the regen, the natural regen rate is so slow, it's nowhere near being able to compensate for the amount of damage we're taking right now from getting the magma queen. Man, I keep not doing it quite far enough. It's difficult to get the timing right in the bow. It's exactly right. This is good bow practice. We're gonna get a lot of uh, ink sacks if we ever want them. Now this boat is power four, so we are doing significant damage. Only is issue is this boss has more health than its size. Its natural health for the size. I remember I used to have test worlds when I was new to Minecraft. And I used to love spawning giant mag- giant, uh, not mag uh, slimes. And try- I tried to find the limit, because, uh, you could spawn in, uh, 127 enchant weapons with commands. And so we'd try to see, well, how- what- how big of a slime can I get and still one-hit kill them with this weapon? 
I made some huge slimes, like bigger than this area we're in right now. This little region right here. Get out of here. Okay, we're good. That's not good. That might just open up a little bit. It looks like the Magma Queen is stuck, which is strange. I guess she's stuck in the wall. I know that that happens sometimes during testing. I am honestly surprised I made this boss so fast. And so far we've got our first row of arrows gone. We can't always fight in me with melee, and that will last a lot of time. Although the issue is going to be, how do we knock the magma queen back? Because I don't, I didn't put knockback on this sword in the end, so we're going to have to. Maybe we can dig down a little bit. That way, the magma queen can't white get to us, but we can still hit her. That's not a bad idea. Although her little minions are gonna wreak havoc on us. Yeah, because you see right here they already do several hearts of damage. I'm not sure how much health we get, what sort of regen we get from the Sorted Skulls. I guess we can go put a Sorted Skull right in the center here. That's not a bad idea, especially considering... Ah! These guys come through the center, and if the Magma Queen ever... Come on. Get out of here. Oh, yeah, it, I think I got... I think I got the Magma Queen. Yes! We could theoretically just chill here for an hour, and hopefully this, the Queen will eventually die. Thanks to the Wither. Oh yes, and the, the Sword at School even takes down the little minions! This is perfect! Why did I never think of this? Ha! Now I can just be here all day. As a matter of fact, we're gonna go ahead and put some, of the, some blocks right here, that way we don't go all the way back. Yeah, so at this point it's just shooting all the arrows, nothing else. Because those guys automatically die now. You can't get knocked back. Well, you don't have to move forward. You just have to shoot arrows. Until the Magma Queen dies. And she's even taking some extra damage in between shots from the Wither effect. And it looks like all of her arrows are hitting, which is very surprising. I, I would think that the uh, Wither effect would cause her to be invincible at certain frames. Yes, keep doing that move, please. I'm really regretting not putting Infinity on this bow. Because we're going to run out of arrows. And then we're probably going to break our other bow. And I'm going to be really confused. Because this boss isn't dead! <laughs> Slime Queen, what? Another Slime Queen, I'll be back. Boss defeated, ability unlocked, automated torch play placement in this area only. Oh! Oh, wh what? What? I want that! Well, I want that in my other areas, not just this area! Oh, come on, come on, I feel cheated. I feel so cheated. That would have been such a nice ability to have. Oh well. We finally beat her. I was I was that was that took us a long time. And we're not going to kill the uh it's a baby by the way. Oh that was scared I was scared for a moment. Alright, we get a bunch of XP bottles and then the emerald. Alright, I'm out of here. This is done. Dig dig. Okay, so that in total took us, we started at 5.15, it's 5.31 now. That's not that bad. That's about 15 minutes for the boss. Uh, 
Oh wait, we have automatic to torch placement, right? Where's our torches? Uh, I guess the automatic torch placement doesn't work in the end. Oh, maybe you need regular torches on hand. I can't remember. No, I guess it's bugged. I do remember having issues. Oh, no, okay. I set it up to where it wouldn't work for me. Because it would always activate whenever I would beat the boss. Wait! Oh! I forgot I don't have feather falling. Oh, boy. almost killed myself. That's okay. Now we have a, a set that will last us forever, which is pretty cool. I'm pretty happy about that. Now we're not going to use this in the next area, obviously. We're going to put this set away in like a battle chest for bosses like this. Wait a minute, did we never get... There are there a few things I think we never got, actually. Uh, these work horses. Right, yeah, we have to go to Game Boy 3 to get over here now. I don't know why that's bugged. We can always check it out once we're done with the map. That took a lot of arrows, though, to be honest with you. And it did use up one durability on our bow, which is pretty crazy. Okay. Oh, right. Well, let's go make our emerald block. Actually, let's get up. Let's put away this armor set. And be on our way. Oops, we want that bow. Put it in this chest right here. This is going to be our battle chest for bosses if we need unbreakable armor. Okay, and let's get on our usual stuff. So we're back, we're back in business. Got our thorns, leggings. I really wish we had a better thorns item than leggings, to be honest with you. Alright, and let's go make our emerald block. We're going to get the basic exchange. The issue is we haven't been collecting basic drops from this map, and I do believe the basic exchange allows us to get some stuff for basic drops. I think in the final area there's also some other stuff even that gives us some benefits for basic uh, what's it called? Basic drops. You know, like zombie flesh, bones, etc. I think initially I decided not to put stuff like that in the map, and the reason was that it's just insanely o overpowered and you don't I don't want players to have to keep everything on them constantly uh, so in that case you'd be worried about keeping everything 